Good morning. I'm Emmy Johnson from Skylight Research. We're here at Mobile World Congress in 2018 in Barcelona. And I'm sitting here with Renato from Huawei. Thank you, Emmy. Uh, I'm Renato Lombardi with Huawei, head of the uh, Italy Research Center and also chairman of the Etsy Industry Group for the Millimeter Wave. Renato, in the Mobile World Congress, Huawei announced a um, 5G microwave that's ready for commercial deployment. What's the key technology and the value for the operators? Here we in Barcelona, we launched the 5G microwave that is, uh, as the name says, is a, a set of features that we are introducing in our uh, 5G microwave in order to cope with the 5G requirements in terms of capacity, uh, latency, uh, network topology. So starting from the analysis of these requirements, uh, we introduce these uh, features. Most of them are related to a more efficient use of spectrum and even more innovative use of spectrum, like uh, very high modulation schemes, carrier aggregation, uh, band aggregation, uh, interference, cancellers. Uh, so in order to improve how we can reuse spectrum, how we can uh, squeeze from relatively narrow band channels uh, the most in terms of capacity. And in the meantime, reducing latency and uh, making this kind of microwave more suitable with the new network topology that is coming with 5G. Can you give us a plan on how Huawei is working with the mobile operators and what's the significant innovations or improvements that are being made in microwave? Yes, we demonstrated uh, two weeks ago uh, as in a proof of concept with the Vodafone Group, uh, the 5G microwave new features, uh, especially higher modulation schemes, uh, carrier aggregation, dual band uh, aggregation, so E-band and microwave traditional. And we, are, we have done also another PUC with uh, Deutsche Telekom. As well, uh, we plan other uh, tests uh, with leading operators. And also very important uh, will be to test uh, uh, 5G microwave in real 5G trials. Uh, Especially in Italy, we have uh, large uh, 5G trials uh, in uh, Milano with Vodafone and uh, with team uh, in South Italy. And this could be a great opportunity to test 5G microwave in end-to-end -end 5G networks. Besides these joint proof of concepts that you're working with um, with the leading operators, how else is Huawei promoting um, microwave and 5G? We are market leader. We are uh, working and very active in all standardization groups, uh, especially in Etsy, in order to convey the message from the whole industry about microwave being capable of coping with the uh, 5G requirements. Mm -hmm. This is quite important, cannot just be Huawei, so we have to push and uh, in order especially with administrations, uh, with spectrum regulators, uh, uh, how these new technologies uh, can help in managing spectrum in a more efficient way. And especially to create value to our customers, to operators, by having rules in managing the spectrum license fees uh, in which uh, the cost is not growing linearly with the capacity. When we compared 5G capacity to be backhauled with 2G 20 years ago, uh, most of the licensing rules uh, have remained the same. So that's quite important. Second, since uh, the spectrum is the uh, most important resource for the wireless, mm -hmm. both uh, access uh, but also backhaul, we need uh, uh, more spectrum being made available for the backhaul. I'm talking of especially the millimeter wave uh, or frequencies above uh, 23 gigahertz, uh, 32 gigahertz, uh, but especially E-band. And so pushing as industry, that all countries uh, will open uh, the uh, bands uh, available to operators. And how do you view microwave and for 5G backhaul? It will play, it will still play a very significant role as it has been played in 3G and 4G, uh, considering uh, how high percentage of base stations are backhauled uh, with wireless technologies. So we have on average uh, uh, more than 70% of base stations uh, connected with micro millimeter wave with very, very high peaks, uh, more than 90% in some countries or in some operators. So microwave will play a very important role, being able to cope and satisfy the needs of 5G. 
uh, giving uh, OPDES a possibility to focus uh, on uh, the access part in terms of investments uh, and making fiber come, uh, let me say, with right. uh, more gradual uh, penetration, step by step. Any other comments that you would have regarding microwave and how you see it in 5G? Or? I say the 5G, uh, with also partly penetration of fiber, uh, is mm -hmm. changing also the network topology. And uh, the features that we are introducing uh, have also to make microwave millimeter wave more suitable uh, to this uh, new topology, and especially uh, start connections. Uh, uh, so with hub uh, and spoke that will be quite important and find ways to be uh, more spectrum efficient uh, on uh, a geographical, geographical area. And this will permit to have wider, wider channels that means uh, higher capacity to be backhauled.